Welcome back to our F1 2021 My Team Career Mode. This is part nine, the Hungarian Grand Prix. You join me on the heels of the Silverstone Grand Prix where let's just say things really didn't go that well for the AR12 Motorsports team when my engine literally blew up and I DNF the car. Today though, I am crossing my fingers that we are gonna have a way better day because today we are gonna get a ton of new upgrade parts on the car. However, before we do any of that, I think most importantly, we need to swap a new engine into this thing. Now, when I say take a brand new engine, I don't actually mean start taking any penalties. No, no. Here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna actually take our third lot of our engine for the majority of our stuff. However, I do not trust this second power unit at all all anymore. So what we're going to do is for things like the energy store and the control electronics, we're actually going to drop back to the engine one version. Anyways, though, obviously there's a lot of stuff to do on the activity timeline before we get to the Hungarian Grand Prix. We have nine days. So how do we want to spend it? Power equipment upgrade. Let's go for that. It brings us some resource points as well. Aero department, I kinda don't wanna do because we're doing so many upgrades right now. I don't wanna hurt morale, so we'll do this instead. Supplier HQ tour brings us some acclaim. And then what do we wanna do finally? I can either go durability team building event or I can just get a hundred more team acclaim. I think I'll go for that. I feel like that's the better option. After that though, we can jump over to our facilities where finally today, we're gonna continue to upgrade our powertrain department. Over the past couple of episodes, we have really been struggling with our department capacity. And today we are finally gonna fix that. We've got 3 million bucks in the bank. We're we're pouring in 2.2 million into doing multiple upgrades at once. So thank you very much. That's awesome. After that, we can jump over to our R&D where unfortunately we're actually working on so many upgrades right now. I genuinely cannot do another one. Don't worry, we are gonna do some upgrades today. I promise we've got our new engine all ready to go. Our gearbox is just fine. We're waiting on a new practice gearbox. Our sponsors are looking good. I guess with all of that stuff done, let's Let's advance we had a the major time. issue on the production line earlier this week, so the entire development package for the weekend has failed. I'm gonna go one more day. Yes, sir! We just got two big upgrades for the car. Our aero department now gets a brand new upgrade. Thank you very much. Uh, oh. I thought our powertrain got an upgrade. Okay, whatever, never mind, ignore me. Anyways though, that does free up another slot in here. So what do I wanna upgrade? I don't think I wanna do any more front downforce. Do I wanna do some rear stuff? We could. A new DRS activation mechanism. We actually had our DRS fail in the last episode. So hopefully that not only makes us faster, but also doesn't break as much. I guess we'll keep advancing the time. One more day, there we go. We we just got more new upgrades on the car, more aero parts. Our car is gonna be a rocket ship out on the circuit today. So now what else do we wanna upgrade? Maybe we do wanna go for some more rear downforce. I mean, it's a bunch of resource points, but we've got a bunch of resource points. Let's, let's, let's do it. Sure, let's see what'll happen. And once again, we continue to advance the time on the activity timeline. Thank you, sponsors. Okay, and pause we'll again. The new parts come through the fabrication process. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. We are getting a silly amount of upgrades now. Now, we just got a new engine upgrade that's gonna give us even more horsepower. So now we'll upgrade this, the pistons, Oh my God, this car, this car is gonna be something else. We've actually overtaken Aston Martin in terms of our performance now. That is awesome. And we've still got so many upgrades coming. Well, I guess with that, we can finally finish up the advancing time and we've arrived in Hungary. I'm gonna go and do the practice programs. I'll rejoin with you guys in one second for some qualifying. And just like that, welcome to a sunny day out in Hungary for a little bit of qualifying. In practice, this car felt so quick with all of its new upgrade parts. I am really hoping they'll result in a pretty good qualifying out here today. So 
we will keep fingers crossed. However, saying that, there's a little bit of an issue. Uh, I've never been that good at this circuit. I've never really had a very good race here, so I don't know what to expect because every time I've said that recently, we, we've ended up having really good races. So. I, I have no idea what's gonna happen today. Who knows, our engine could explode. I honestly don't know what it is about this circuit. It's almost like it feels very start-stop, if you know what I mean. I've never really found it a super fun place to race around, but it does produce some pretty good races, so who knows what's gonna happen. Currently, we are one second off the pace. Okay, uh, I... Yeah! Okay, little AR12 motorsports car. Obviously, we're gonna need to go out and do another lap. Yo, we've even got some rain predictions coming in soon. Take a look at the weather for the race. It's actually supposed to rain for the race. Oh boy, okay. That is completely gonna throw a spanner in the works, so we'll have to see what happens. I guess for now, though, we'll advance the time. We'll obviously have to do another lap. There goes Jack Aitken, only 0.3 seconds behind us. Like I said in the last episode, after we started doing some upgrades to our facilities to make Jack 8 can even faster, they would start to pay off and I, I think they are. Anyways though, we won't worry about that right now. We have dropped all the way down to P14. We have time for one more lap. Let's make it a good one. No talking. Come on, we're looking pretty good. We're green. I'm not sure by how much. I don't even want to look. Half a second green. No way, come on, get it to the line, get it to the line. Do not mess this up. Half a second green. That was a super, super smooth lap. That is what I'm talking about. Hopefully that means we're gonna have a good qualifying result. P12, let's go. No way though, Charles Leclerc actually goes fastest with Valtteri Bottas behind him, then Max Verstappen. Lewis is all the way down in P4, that's pretty crazy. So it's not actually raining just yet for the race, but who knows, it is super dark out here, anything can happen. Speaking of anything can happen, let's see what the starting grid is like. I would imagine I'm not the only person who took a new engine, People might have some penalties. Anyways, Leclerc starting up P1 with Valtteri right alongside him. And then those two, let's watch out for some crashes. Who knows what's gonna happen right off the start. Carlos Sainz is all the way down in P7. He, he, he won't be too happy with that considering his teammate got pulled. We do jump up one position up to P11. So somebody did pick up a penalty. There's our teammate up to P15. Lando Norris is one of those to pick up a penalty. That sucks for him. And Lance Stroll and Kimi pick up penalties. Oof. Saying that though, that's a little bit scary because although they are starting from the back, they're gonna have brand new engines and be super quick out there. For right now though, we are starting on the mediums, jumping on the hards on lap 16, and look at the end of the race. The rain is gonna come down. If we get a safety car, we're gonna need to make another pit stop. That is gonna be so sketchy. Like I always say though, I'm not gonna worry about that. Let's go, clutch is in, rev it up, and away we go for the Hungarian Grand Prix. Early shifts, I do not want too much wheel spin off the line. Very, very nice start, look up the inside. I've actually got a monster run on everybody. Oh my God, um, um, how have I done that? How have I done that? I just went from P11 to P6 off the start. That is the best start I think I have ever had in Formula One before. The thing is, as good of a start as that was, there is no way that I'm gonna be holding this position for the entire Grand Prix. I'm gonna need to uh, turn my F1 car into the world's widest Formula One car. Y you can see what I mean though. Look at Sergio Perez all the way up there. Even though all of those guys are driving in traffic, they are already pulling away from me. That is crazy how fast those guys are. Anyways though, lap number one in the books, we've got Fernando behind, who we know is a little bit quicker, and Daniel Ricardo. Oh, keep in mind as well, I'm on the medium compound tires. The guys around me are on the soft, so they're naturally gonna be quicker than me. 
they might actually be going for a two pit stop strategy. We don't know. Right now though, I really like my chances. That was an awesome start. We're on the right tires. We're doing very, very well. And we only need to stop on, what did I say? Like lap 16, lap 19, something like that. So we're good. Uh, somebody had fake yellow flags behind. I don't know if they were fake or real. I'm gonna pause and look. Has somebody crashed? No! 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 No, you moron! Jack Aitken, what are you doing? No! Okay, when I said I was gonna put some distance in, I, I didn't think it would only be one lap that I would be able to put in in front of Daniel Ricardo. He is right behind me and we know the way he drives. He's gonna send it on me when I least expect it. Wait, what? No, no way, no way. Ricardo jumps into the pits on lap number seven. Verstappen and Lewis are also in the pit lane, which means we now go up to P4. Holy. And if you take a look at the leaderboard right now, it is Pierre Gasly, who is the next medium runner. He is the person who we are properly racing right now. Because One more lap later, more guys seconds. jump in. Carlos Sainz now is right behind he, me. He is definitely gonna get past. We are leading the Hungarian Grand Prix though. R remember what I said about the tracks that I'm not good at, I usually do well on? Yeah, I, I, I don't understand that either. Yellow flags, yellow flags, yellow flags. I need to see. Which one of you spot? <gasps> no! Leclerc's engine blew up. He's pretty close to a Marshall post, so I, I, I'm not sure if we'll get a safety car for that. There it is. Charles Leclerc is out of the Grand Prix. Yeah, no safety car for that one, unfortunately. I do have Carlos Sainz, though right behind me. This is terrifying. Never mind. Carlos Sainz has decided to jump on into the pit lane. See a later sunshine. But look at Pierre Gasly. Pierre Gasly is catching so quickly. He was three seconds behind. Now he's only 1.3 seconds behind. Oh boy. Yeah, this is not good. This is not good. Pierre Gasly, my arch enemy as it's turning out to be is absolutely flying. Here we go. Run, run, please run. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. He didn't go up the inside. He's trying to go up the inside. Why didn't he send it? Why did he not send it? What are you doing, Pierre Gasly? Look at the leaderboard. Max Verstappen has opted for the hard compound tires and he's 1.6 seconds behind. Okay, it's gonna be like a lap or two, and he's gonna be sending one on us for sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's not good. My rear tires are gone. Bono, Bono, my tires, they're on fire, I think. They're not even on fire. Why am I sliding out like a pleb? Max Verstappen, can you overtake your ex-teammate in a considerably quicker car, but on slower tires, that is the question. Here we go, Max has to get him now. Come on, Max. Max looking to the inside, Pierre Gasly goes to defend, but Max is able to hold it up the inside, but that's not over. Pierre Gasly's kind of got a run. Okay, never mind. he pulls out of it. Safe play, safe play. Do not ruin your chance. Look at my tires right now. I've got 40% wear on that front left. I can probably slow down a little bit and not put so much pressure on that tire. I'm gonna chill. Maybe there'll be a safety car. Maybe there'll be a virtual safety car. I think I'm in a very good position in this Grand Prix. I don't wanna mess it up. Oh, speaking of pit stops, there goes Pierre Gasly. So he now is unleashing me. We'll see what tire compound he jumps onto in a second. Well, if this Grand Prix does finish with a massive downpour, we can say we made a mistake, but I think this is the right play. Come on. I've just really got to hope that we don't lose too many positions. There goes Bottas and Sergio Perez. Lewis Hamilton is not far behind and Pierre Gasly's coming up very quickly. Go, exit, go, exit not a good stop. Pierre Gasly is gone. Come on, get back to racing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa, Carlos Sainz. Once again, we're gonna have to play hold up the Ferrari 
and try not to lose this P6 right now. This would be some solid points for the team, but I don't know if we can hold it. I, I have no idea. It's only 1.5 seconds to Carlos Sainz already. Okay, never mind. Carlos Sainz is actually rapid out here. There, there's no way. There is no way I'm gonna be able to hold this man behind. He's already looking. Carlos Sainz goes to the inside through the left-hander. Yep, I don't wanna fight that. I don't want to lose P7. I don't want to break a front wing and have to go in. It's just, it's not worth it. It's so not worth it. I need every little last point that we can get. We, we, we've got to play it safe. Now though, behind, we've got Sebastian Vettel. There are 13 laps left in this Grand Prix. Hold that man off. We know our car is faster. We've got to go. Are you actually kidding me? It's raining with four laps to go. No, 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 no. Please do not rain any more than this. I've still got tons of grip out here, but if it starts to rain worse than this, we're literally going to need to go into the pits and change tires. And that is not a good thing. The grip is actually going. Somebody's got a yellow flag behind. Who? I found why there's a yellow flag. Sebastian Vettel, I do appreciate all of your hard work throughout the race, holding up those McLarens. It is much appreciated. I will not forget you. It is getting properly wet out here. The car is not turning the way it used to. And Daniel Ricardo is catching up. All of those things are not good things. Back this is race. it. This is the last lap of the Grand Prix. Daniel Ricardo is less than a second behind. You are kidding me. And there is so much rain on this circuit. Okay, nearly lost it. Nearly lost the car. No way, seconds. Max Verstappen takes the victory out in Hungary. A stomping victory for him. Literally miles in front of everybody else. Jeez. Two more corners. Two more corners to go. Don't mess this up, please. Please. That was a drift. There we go. Nice exit. Get to the line. P7. Okay, Let's go. Danny Rick was behind. Whoa. Okay, both the McLarens were behind. And I think that's Alonso as well. Ooh, Max Verstappen though, finally catching up to Lewis Hamilton in the driver's championship. Nicely done. Max Verstappen getting a solid 22 points out there. Very nicely done. We're picking up six points for AR12 Motorsport, which really isn't that bad. The most surprising thing is that we were able to hold off both of the McLarens. Very, very nice, or I should say, Thank you very much, Sebastian Vettel and Charles Leclerc for blowing up your car. I would have been in like P12 if it wasn't for those two. That is not a very good position for Jack Aitken. In terms of the standings, we're still holding P9. Max Verstappen overtakes Bottas. Only 35 points behind Lewis. Nothing is changing in the constructors. Anyways, we've now got a bunch of money in the bank, which means next episode, we can go in, do a little bit of a spending spree, continue to upgrade all of our facilities, and apparently a marketing department event as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys soon with some more F1. See you then. Bye.